Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I would share another book review with you. Um, this time around it is Flights by Olga Tokchuk. Um, so it did take me a while to read this because I've been rubbish recently at reading but I have managed to get through it. Um, Tokchuk is a Polish author and Flights was um, originally published or written in, in Polish and then translated by Jennifer Croft. Um, it won the 2018 Man Booker Prize um, and Tokachuk has also won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2018, although it wasn't actually awarded to her until 2019. Um, I read one of her other books uh, previously, so Drive Your Plough Over the Bones of the Dead, um, also translated this time by Antonia Lloyd-Jones. Um, as you can see, she really liked the cover, so she <laughs> used the same one again. Um, and they're quite interesting, kind of austere, blue, quite... Um, striking covers in their own way but just not not pretty I suppose um, so I read this other one drive your plow over the bone to the dead and I really really loved it I thought it was brilliant and I did a review on it saying saying as such um, it's about a so drive your plow is about a middle-aged woman who lives in a remote Polish village and um, who's really into astrology and animal rights and the poet poetry of William Blake and then her neighbours around her start being killed and I feel like that description makes it sound terrible but actually I thought it was really really good um, so I'm kind of glad I didn't know too much about it when I went into it because I might have been put off but I really like Drive Your Plow so I thought I would give um, Flights a go as well given that it won the Man Booker Prize and given that it had um, really good reviews um, I thought I would give it a go and read Flights um, so Flights doesn't actually have a traditional narrative in the same way that uh, Drive Your Plough of the Bones of the Dead it is, a, is a regular kind of narrative structure and um, this is a bit different. Um, it muses or focuses on travel and human anatomy because I think Olga Togchuk is a little bit weird perhaps but um, in a good way, <laughs> it's quite fun. Um, so. The book is kind of partially narrated um, by um, a woman, I think it is a woman, um, I think that's established, but a traveller anyway, who um, shares stories of travelling, of airports, of the conversations that she has with the people that she meets, um, and also kind of stories of the local places that she goes to. That's what I'm kind of assuming. It took me kind of a while to get into the narrative. I didn't quite understand what I was reading when I first started reading it. It's a little bit um the way that it kind of flows there aren't there are sections which are pretty short like a, a couple of pages long or even just half a page long but there's no kind of chapters or sections or bigger sections that kind of uh, separate it out um into into chunks or themes it just kind of keeps going um so it did take me a while to kind of get into it and kind of understand what exactly i was reading um, so yeah, the recurring themes throughout are travel and our constant movement and our on-the-go lifestyles and our desire to kind of pick up and go, either travelling to other countries or leaving other things like relationships. Um, and then kind of, I guess, counterpointed or contrasted with that is the focus on human anatomy and the fragility of human life and the limits of the human body, which keeps us much more grounded um so it kind of works but it's kind of when you when i was reading it anyway it was kind of, i was kind of like oh yeah there is a lot about human anatomy in this book that's an interesting theme i wonder why she's kind of done that um but it definitely is a recurring thing throughout a lot of the stories do seem to hark back to um the human body and human anatomy so we get kind of stories about travel um and people leaving or going or moving so we have a story of a man who on holiday his wife and young child go missing for several days um, and then there's also another story of a, a woman in Russia who is overwhelmed by having to care for her young ill son and so actually leaves her husband and son and just basically lives on the streets for several days although the way that she actually occupies and, and spends her time as I guess keeps herself safe is that she just rides around on trains through the day and the night as long as she can um, so it kind of brings us back to that um, theme of of travel again and the need to 
sometimes just pick up and leave, I guess, and escape um, other life that she was living. Um, and then we also get other stories like um, Chopin's sister transporting or smuggling his heart from Paris to Warsaw after he died, as per his wishes. Um, there's also the story of a Dutch anatomist who um, spent his time dissecting and drawing his own amputated leg that was amputated when he was younger that he then kept and then spent many years afterwards dissecting it um, to learn about human anatomy. So all these stories are kind of woven or kind of put in the book together and just kind of work with each other to a certain extent I suppose how much it works for you will depend on on you and and kind of what you're getting um from the book um I did like flights but it didn't quite work for me I uh, nowhere near as much as, as drive your plow so this one I would definitely recommend flights it's just the narrative structure I think it's just kind of the plot device it just doesn't work for me I just prefer a more traditional narrative I just think it makes it a lot more accessible it makes it a lot easier to get into and it makes it a lot quicker to read because because it's more accessible I just find like you once you get into a good story you don't really want to put the book down so you just keep going with it whereas flights was a little bit choppy and changey um, which I appreciate obviously a more experimental narrative style is quite nice to um, try every now and again but the parts of the book that I really appreciated and, and enjoyed the most were the bits that were more of the extended narrative sections so as I said the story of the man whose wife and young child go missing for a few days that is um, several pages long maybe like 10 pages long which is one of the m longest sections of the book and that was also the one of the sections that I read the quickest because I, I was into the story and I didn't want to put it down um, so those the kind of more story elements worked better for me so overall I didn't get as much from flights as I did from her other book that I've read but I still liked it and like I said it's interesting to read something that's a little bit different um, and she's definitely a very interesting author that I really appreciate. Um, if any of you have read her books um, and have any thoughts please leave them in the comments below. Um, if you've liked the video please give me a like, if you want to see more please subscribe. I am going to try and stick with reading at least a book a month which is a lot less than I was reading before but I just have <laughs> significantly reduced my goals for this year what with being pregnant and also being kind of demotivated by the pandemic lockdown so one book a month or the equivalent I think is what my target is going to be so I will come back hopefully in a month's time with another book review anyway like I said if you want to see that please do subscribe